Hi, you've got Mr Consequence here. I'm just up at Avondale Primary School in Darwin, running an eight-week project, teaching the children all about random acts of kindness and what it is to be a decent member of society. The children have responded so well. We've been teaching them basic NLP language patterns around what you do comes back to you and teaching the children that all behaviours learnt behaviour. But more importantly, about when they go out into the community, understanding the differences in beliefs and values within the community. We've been teaching the children linguistic frames like we're not looking for perfection, we're looking for progress. And the way the children have responded is absolutely fantastic. The angel and the devil on your shoulder. So how would you describe that to me if I didn't know what you would say? If I were from that planet Zod, do you remember? And I didn't know what you're going on about. How would you explain to Mr Consequence what that means? That if somebody asks you, do you want to do this? It's a bad thing, like the devil's speaking, do you do it? The angel says, don't do it. And what do we do? What do we use the power of? No. The power of? I think it's been fascinating where you work with them particularly separating the boys and girls. I think what's come out of that has been massive. But from each group, I think they've really blossomed. <laughs> they've come on and, and our first intention was to raise that aspiration and to get them thinking what can happen. And just talking to individual children, it's without any doubt it's happened. Um, I think they've responded really well to it. Yeah, I think they've, they've changed as a group and in their expectations of themselves through the six weeks, yeah. Power of no, so it's having the courage if we know it's wrong, and we, remember we talked about the, what was that thing called? The, the voice. The gut voice. Yeah, the voice in your tummy. And you I got some feedback from the head teacher the other day, and he said he went into the assembly, and all the year sixes were sat in the assembly, and there was only the year sixes knew one of the key commands, which is to encourage the children to sit the up in class. <laughs> Well, I just picked one or two bits up from what you were doing and, and spoken to the two teachers involved and they'd said, activate. Activate is the word that was just generating. And um, to a whole school assembly, so we've got children there from four who probably haven't even seen you in school, John, yeah. and right through to year six, and it was the end of assembly. And rather than saying, right, everybody sit up straight, show me you're ready, all I said was activate. And every child in assembly just went... That was what activating meant to them, and uh, and it just worked, and it was uh, it was quite it was it was amusing to be honest, but it was great because it just showed that things were it showed staff that things work as well. You are all role models because the younger children in this school they will copy your behaviour, won't they? Even if they're from a really really good environment, they'll come into school, they'll look up at you, and if you say something negative or do something that's not good they could possibly copy you. The good news is, you do something good, you're setting a really good example. Okay, brilliant, top shelf. And the biggest thing that I, I found, um, and the word that came out that sprung to mind was rapport, which is a bigger. You engage with the children from day one, they listened, and they got the job done. I'm gonna be the change. Do you remember that talk? He wanted to change his own behaviour, so he wanted to make his own community look nice. So we phoned the council and said, I'll do it, I'll do it myself. So I went and helped him. And he did a clean up litter campaign. So what are the positive consequences of that? Yes. You, um, if, you think, uh, if you clean up your um, world, will be a lot cleaner. Exactly. It gives young people a better chance in life to not right. see. Um, the I might help you. Steady, now you're shaking. And, I might start doing it. and you might start doing it. You see, do you know what happens in society? People go, oh, do you know what? There's nowhere to go. Oh, look at it, it's rubbish. Never now, heard of it, never even was made to think about it, really, from teacher training and then the first two years of teaching. Um, and so it is, it's, uh, it's changed my style of teaching, I believe, for the better massively um, because the kids respond to it and, it and it seems to be working now the kids have changed and they're learning they're activated and for me getting this type of feedback from these type of young people that are let's just say up against some challenges you know from stuff on the internet these vines all this stuff that can influence the behavior in a bad way for me it just well it puts my moody meter on a 10. i think the other bit is that through those bits, children's expectations of themselves, children's awareness of the consequences, that bit of what you've done 
is amazing for them because lots of children didn't realise what I do makes a difference. And now they are beginning to go, yeah, but if I do this, things will change one way or another. And, and you can make it positive, you can make it negative, but it is a choice in there. I think that's been absolutely massive. What do you think is a negative consequence of peer pressure? Um, you could get sent to jail for doing something. Anything else, what do you think? You could commit suicide if it was that serious. For me, this is what I want in a school. My concern in a school is that we turn out citizens and we turn out the people that will mould our society. And that sounds very highfalutin and oh, this is a this is where we live and this is what we're doing. And um, if we can turn out people that are well balanced and that are aware of the consequences of their actions and want the best for themselves, what more can we want? If we can get great exam results as well then that'll do. But I'm more proud of the children that we turn out and I think that this is this is enhancing that all the time. What are you gonna do about it? What's stopping you going to speak to the community centre with someone and say, can I help? What would you like me to help me? What would you like me to help me? Can I help you? No. Do you want me to do anything? What's stopping you? As long as you're safe and your, adult, uh, your parents and adults know exactly what you're doing, then that's fine. Oh, look at these two. Uh, yes. Which one do you like? Back of the net. Back of the <laughs> net? You like that saying? Which one do you like? Um, together everyone achieves fun. Together, everyone achieves what? What about what's been your favourite part of the programme so far? Um, learning about um, speaking and how to say kind things to people and what to say to people if they don't upset their friends. Brilliant. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah, I like that. So when we did the, what was the thing about the peer pressure? Or was it again with the? Oh yeah, taking photos of Yeah, and the and angel and the. Oh, the death, yeah, we did a role play. Yeah, we did the role play, and then we worked on the consequences of it. Um, I liked um, when we learned about respect. About respect. So, respect in a learning environment. Could you describe each corner of the respect model? Which one, what's the first um, corner? Um, big and strong. Uh, one voice. Listening. Uh, keep your eyes on the person who's speaking. And uh, we're, not, we're not fully developed in the terms of all staff using all this yet but it is catching on and it's just working its way through school. Uh, for me personally uh, you do get those days where that one maybe little Timmy is uh, making the wrong decisions doing the wrong thing over and over again and it's uh, it's easy to address that straight away just with him um, we don't know how that's making him feel so it's using that vocab big and strong and repeating that so it's the whole class rather than just pinpointing, pinpointing him. So I'm looking forward to continuing this, this project. I'm three years into this project, teaching young people how to do more random acts of kindness, the 30 days of Rayoc. Look for me on the internet, it's Mr. Consequence, that's M-I-S-T-E-R, Consequence. And look out because I will be coming to a community near you. And remember, it's cool to be kind.